Grrr, bow, what's going on? It's your boy Honcho, Honcho's house. Today we got some crazy news, man. Now, I don't know if this is marketing or if this is real. To be honest, I think it's marketing. It's very smart marketing. But Central C's been moving mad with his missus, throwing his missus under the bus, allegedly. So we're going to go straight into it. Madeline Argy, RG, Madeline Argy, I don't know how you say her name, but she's basically come out explaining that all this Central C I Spy stuff that's been going on, she didn't actually know about it. She wasn't aware of it, allegedly. Um, so she's come out on a little TikTok rant expressing how she feels about it. So we're going to get straight into that and break it down for you guys. I know I did. I know I enjoyed you guys caught us. It was all PR. I hope that you enjoyed the video that dropped at midnight last night. I know I did. I know I enjoyed going to the club and going to the set. And I know that I definitely saw that video before anyone on here did. Yeah, no, obviously not. Girls, you told me to stand up, so I'm standing up. So that was some obvious sarcasm there, if you couldn't tell from the first video. I was definitely being sarcastic. Uh, let me tell you how I did not know that any of this was gonna fucking happen. Let me take you guys back a couple months. I'm laid up in bed with Pookie, and he comes to me, and he's like... Pookie, you know. Like, I have a new song to show you, and I'm like, yes, serenade me. I'm like, ready to hear some poetry. And then he plays me his... Sorry, well, uh, since when does Central C make poetry, love? Like, come on, man. You're ready to hear some poetry, you know? Your boyfriend's one of the biggest drill artists ever. And you wanted to hear some poetry, what'd you expect? <laughs> oh, shout out to Madeline, shout out to Sen. Verse. I'm like, what the fuck? Not only did you just snitch on yourself that you're cheating, but you just told me exactly how. Give me your fucking phone. Are you telling me ZK? You know what? It is a mad one because Sench do be saying some absolute madness on his tracks with a missus at home. But clearly she's going to know that he needs to say these type of things to be getting the views and whatnot. So maybe she just lets it slide, but... By the sounds of it, she's actually listening to each bar and thinking, whoa, hang on a minute, you said that you, you did this, give me your phone. The trappy 69 with the wet emoji is not your childhood friend. He tells me it's just marketing and I know how the internet works, so I just forget about it. A while later, he tells me that he wants to hire an influencer to do like a lip syncing video to one of his older songs. And I'm like, okay, makes sense. Then he's like, I'm going, I'm going to send her a car because she asked for one. I was like, okay, makes sense. He didn't tell me he was sending her his personal car to start a dating rumor with her. I was with you guys, knees deep in that comment section, asking if we were still together. So he's talking about, well, she's talking about Leah Halton, that like Australian New Zealand girl, brunette girl who was seen in Sench's, uh, I think it was a Maybach, and everyone was talking about, rah, Sench might be dating her now. Obviously, he's done this on purpose to get them all talking, but it's smart, man. It's really smart. And he got all these girls, like, you know, ah, it's crazy, man. I tried to have a conversation with him about it, and all he kept saying was, all right. Ah. No, I'm kidding, but... See, when she says that, that's what makes me think this is all marketing, because you wouldn't be joking about shit if he was really upset, in my opinion, but who knows. Seriously. <laughs> but seriously, I actually tried to understand what was going on, and... Let me actually show you guys who that, that Leah Holton is real quick, in it? Because people need to actually see... Who we're talking about here um she was on inside the sidemen's kind of like love island big brother kind of thing um she's also known for that yg marley song the video on tiktok where it's like inverted super close up to her face i got like the most most amount of likes on that song or that video or something yeah crazy amount of likes but yeah basically this is the girl let me just find you for her this is her Leah Holton. Yeah. She's looking mad young, to be honest, bro. But yeah, this is her. This is the girl that... The first dating rumour before I Spice. This is, this, is, this is who Madeline is talking about. And Sench sent his own whip to her. Sounds like he low-key finessed his girl into thinking, oh, he's just doing a little bit of promo. But in reality, he really wanted everyone to be thinking, yo, is Sench dating her now? Because she was kind of getting... You know, she was on the Sidemen, the Sidemen uh, YouTube thing and she was getting a bit of bit of motion. She already had some motion before. So, it really, it was a good look for Sench, man. Really, it was a good look for him. But we're going to get back into Madeline. Nothing. At this point, I'm starting to realise, oh, this is why girls don't date rappers. So I call my team and they're like, Madeline, he just started a dating rumour with another girl. Aren't you supposed to be going to Nigeria with him in two days? This is going to be multiple parts, sorry. 
And this is when it clicks. This is not a vacation. I have just entered this man's marketing scheme. So I say I'll still come to Nigeria based on the one condition that none of the professional pictures that are taken of us get posted because I've just realized what is happening and I don't want to be seen with this guy. I understand that rapper boyfriend has promotional activity to do. I just don't want to lose the last shred of my dignity. Shocker, the pictures get out. Guys, if I had known I was going to be photographed like that, I would have put on some fucking concealer. That's the fucking lesson from the jet skis. Although I actually clearly didn't learn anything. You know, when I'm hearing her talk like this, she does actually seem genuine. And it seems like she is actually upset about the pictures and she didn't want to be seen and all of these things. It's kind of making me think it could be, could be real. But at the same time, it just so happens that Central dropped a tune with Ice Spice two days ago, which is going viral. All I've been seeing is Sench, Ice Spice, Ice Spice, Sench, Madeline, Ice Spice, Sench. And it's just kind of like, it's got to be marketing, isn't it? But at the same time, it's very believable marketing. And it's got me sitting here talking on a YouTube video, talking a bunch of shit to you lot with my headphones on camera out. Like, it's working. So now I'm seeing these ugly pictures of me come out. I'm getting flamed by my friends and my work is calling me, Madeline, we told you not to do one thing. Get photographed with him. So you guys remember the song? I then remember he also gave me a release date for the song and I'm realizing that it's only like a month and a bit away and that this Lagos incident was not a coincidence and I am knees deep in this guy's plot. I didn't want to be seen with him. To be honest, like, you got to give it to Sench, bro, because if he was really just keeping it low key and she's only just clocking that she's in his marketing scheme, Bro, the guy's a marketing genius, to be honest, like, or his team or whatever. You even, you even didn't even, your girl didn't even know. Your girl didn't even clock it until, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know though, I still, I don't know if I believe it. For like, as long as possible before this song drops, because I want to be as far away from that conversation as humanly possible. The girlies are fucking laughing at me, like, I cannot take. I, I must admit, like, if it is, if it is real, I do feel sorry for her, to be honest, man, because... For her to be coming out and talking like this, like she, she seems genuine and she seems like she's actually upset about this. But at the same time, I don't know, bro, because it's like them videos on TikTok are getting like 12 million views in less than 24 hours. That's some good bread. That's some good publicity. Like, who knows, man? I don't really know. But if she, if it is real, then I, I, I must admit, I do feel sorry for her because, you know, you can't be... You can't, you can't be treating a girl like that really and truly, you know what I'm saying? But I, I guess if you're Central C, you probably can another public humiliation so i ask him for a conversation because i want to break up with him and he's like I can whoa, whoa 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 so she really wanted to break up with him this is this is even before the i spy stuff so she was ready to break up with him just for the dating just for the, the rumor with the leah horton girl that's a bit much to, to be breaking up with him over that when your boyfriend's a rapper and he needs promo like i don't know the first of July for this conversation, and I thought that was weird because it was in the middle of June, but he was doing his first ever headline shows. First of July rolls around, and he is begging to see me. Like, he is adamant that he has to see me that exact day, but I'm kind of busy. I'm with my friend. Anyway, he ends up calling me at 11 p.m. at night, and he's like, I need to see you tonight. And I'm like, why are you so desperate? He's like, because you need to remember that I'm a human being when you see what you're going to see tomorrow. I am this close to calling the fucking police because that is a threat. He has had no direct access to me ever since that phone call. I'm thinking that this conversation is going to be our love, our relationship. So tell me why 10 hours later he's posted up with a fucking baddie. Guys, imagine you break up with your- Posted up with a baddie, you know, he's talking about I Spice. Is I Spice even a baddie? Like, I don't know. Everybody seems to be thinking so. But that's clearly marketing though, man. And like, to be honest, like if you're, if you're Central C, I Spice is basically like the female version of Central C out in America and she's probably I don't know if she's if she's bigger musically but she's like she's she's huge isn't it I Spice is huge so it's kind of like you got to kind of expect your boyfriend to be hanging out with these people cuz he's in that industry being in the club with I Spice like she weren't twerking on him she weren't moving mad like she'd be twerking on everything and she weren't twerking on him so I don't know, that one, I get it from her, like, she's going to be upset about it, but at the same time, like, what do you expect? Your boyfriend's, like, biggest rapper in the UK. Your boyfriend one night, and the next day, he is posted up with Ice Spice in Chrome Heart. I didn't even... Oh, shit, yeah, all right, well, this one was clearly marketing, but, like, let's just take a look at this video real quick. So, 
This is where, hold on, let me just make this a bit more visible for you guys. So, oh my days, I really do not know how to use none of this. Okay, let's just quickly make this visible for you guys. So, this is the video of Central C in Chrome Hearts with Ice Spice, so... This one, this one was the first little video that I saw. Ah, it's a mad one. It's a mad one. I'm not gonna lie. If that was, if your girl seen that, if your girl wakes up and sees that, she is definitely, definitely gonna be upset. I mean, we know it's marketing, but at the same time, it's still not nice to see, is it? And she's about to say she only got she only got a little crop top or a tank top from Chrome Hearts. So I wonder what sense she got Ice Spice. Because bro, if you if if you're getting your girl a tank top and Ice Spice is getting a lot more, she's getting the jeans. She getting that's a mad move. I actually get to break up with him, and he's already with the next girl. He gave me not even like twelve hours notice before he was being filmed in Chrome Hearts with her. The flight from America is 12 hours. She was already on the fucking plane. Hey, woman to woman, what did he get you from Chrome Arts? Because all I ever got was a tank top. So yet again, I... Yeah, that's a mad one, man. Getting her the tank top and Ice Spice might be getting the jeans. Plus the tank top, plus the hoodie, plus the tracksuit, plus the bracelet, you know. I don't know, man, but that, that one was bait marketing for me. I am in the comment section with you guys. Such is a bop. This is four days until my birthday. When I saw him in her comment section like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what? When when Sench was in the, the comment section chatting about trouble, I seen that one too. And I was thinking, hmm, they definitely got a song drop in. I didn't think anything to do with them linking each other. I tweet so fucking bad. I was going to put this screenshot on my screen. Yo, Sench out here simping for his girl. I hear it, man. Come home. I still love you. You should caption your next post the same as Isis. Also got funny B-Day present for you. That would be good for, I think it says socials. She ain't even responding to him in a DM like. He's chatting to himself in a DM. I don't know what that's about. Why is she not responding to him? Chatting, I still love you and that she's like, madness. Story. I thought rapper boyfriend was at least considerate enough to let me have my birthday week and then I see them at the club on the 6th of July my birthday's on the 7th You guys remember when he made me pay for my own birthday ticket into the zoo? At least I woke up to something better this year That is why my friends had to turn up to my house in gorilla suits the day of my birthday because I had just woken up to a video of him with a big booty body in the club They literally had to drag me out of my fucking house This man has since emailed me called me called my mom you know you're down bad when you're sending the emails man when you're sending the emails or you're transferring the money you're transferring a young 10p chatting about call me you know you're down bad you know you're down bad i've had them emails before and i'm like yo <laughs> there's a reason you're blocked yeah do not be sending me emails now transferring me money because well transfer me money if you want i ain't gonna respond Mum tried to follow my friends on Instagram. You get he's following the friends on Insta and messaging the mum. Seems like he loves her, mum. Get the gist. So it wasn't that much of a surprise when I get a call from his team, and it's a girl on the end of the phone saying, First and foremost, I'm a girl's girl. Yo, this is this is mad. Sench has got his whole team reaching out to try to get his missus back. If this is really legit, like. You're doing a lot to get her back, like getting the team on it and that. Trying to, trying to blame the team. Cough twice if he is holding you hostage. Otherwise, I need you to put down the phone. So his team is calling me, trying to convince me to have a conversation with him. And they're trying to tell me, like, he had no control over this. And I'm trying to get the point across. It doesn't matter if he had control or not. Why the fuck was I told 12 hours before it happened? I'm going insane because all I'm seeing is comments being like, how could she condone this? This is so embarrassing for her. Like, why would she let her man act like this? You see... When she starts saying all this stuff about all the comments are saying, how can she condone this? This is where I do slightly believe her because even if you've agreed to it and said, yeah, cool, do your little ice spice marketing, whatever, it's going to get you the views, you know how social media works. Like if you be reading them comments, it will get to you for sure. And let's not forget, she's a female. Like females are going to get way more um, in their feelings about comments and stuff than a guy, I would say. So like, I kind of understand that part. Maybe she, maybe she did agree to it originally, and then she's seeing 
all this other stuff come out and all the comments, people slandering her and she's probably thinking, yo, do you know what? This kind of backfired. I don't really want people talking talking about me like this. And then she's probably getting in her feelings about it. So I'm like 50% believing that this isn't marketing right now. 50% marketing, 50% um, real. I don't know, but I do feel sorry for the girl, man. I can't lie, man. Shout out to Madeline, man. Guys, I wasn't. I never agreed to this. No one told me. I did not know about this in the way that you guys thought I did. But I also haven't watched the video yet. So if you want to see a live... If she is chatting shit, yeah, and she just lied to the camera blatantly like that, then she is a fucking good liar, bro. So you need to watch out for that one, G. Reaction, it will be on my podcast. All right. Okay, now that we got the legit... The little all right at the end is making... Uh, it's marketing, isn't it? If she was really upset, you wouldn't bust a little all right at the end, you know? Six out the way, I have to laugh. When I got sent this story 5,000 fucking times, me and my friends were dying. We thought I Spice must have found out that he played me and beat his fucking ass. That's the only reason he would have one. I don't think I Spice is going to be beating up Central C. Like, and that's why he's got one shoe on. One shoe on. And then he escaped, and that's why he said you only live twice. <laughs> <laughs> then this guy put on his broadcast channel, No Madeline Slander Shall Be Tolerated. Who See, if he's saying no Madeline Slata should be tolerated on his broadcast, maybe it was getting a bit on top for her and he's thinking, oh shit, my missus is vexed now. Who is he talking to? Who is he talking to? Pookie, are you losing it? Who the fuck let this man on my team? Okay, I'm done. And if anyone else has any theories about where his shoe went, please let me know. I actually tried asking his team and they told me to fuck off. You guys caught us. Hmm. It's a... Uh... It's a sticky one. I don't really know if that's if that's real. I don't really know if that's real, if that's marketing. I can't really tell personally. And if it is real, then I do feel sorry for Madeline, but what do you expect going out of Central C? He's got to make songs at I Spice, bro. Like, she's the biggest, biggest UK... Not UK, what am I talking about? She's the biggest female uh, drill artist out there right now. She is popping, like... For your boyfriend to be making a tune with, with her, you should kind of be proud of him, to be honest. But obviously, you're going to expect all the, the marketing, all the pics, all that type of stuff to be happening. Like, I'm surprised she wasn't even twerking on him on the video and that. Like, that would have gone crazy, but... Maybe that's not how they wanted to roll, but... Oh man, I don't know, man. But I'll be seeing, I'll be seeing uh, Ice Spice be bringing out Central C. Uh, let's see if we can pull this up real quick. Oh, they also went live together. Let's quickly check out the live. Let's quickly check out this live. Just that UK. You know that's that that Cali hash that was straight from the B. Don't push me down the stuff. They got Ice Spice on the on the Cali hash, you know. With the chip in it as well. She's bunning it with a chip. Bro, I'll tell you what, yeah. Out in America, they be bunning some weird zoots, bro. Like, I remember in Miami. Shout out to Trap Low Ross. Shout out to Fresh and Fit. We were out there and the, the zoots, they were billing for us. They had no roach in there. And not even grinded up properly. It was like we were just pretending to smoke it for the sake of it. Like, I don't understand that, bro. So, yeah, put her on to the, to the Cali hash, bro. With a little bit of chip in it. They don't like when, you're, when you smoke it, bro. Say what up to the live, y'all. I'm not smoking. It's good. Why? Am I hard or cool? Go sh Even this live is a bit weird. Like, you got all the man them and that. And it's just her. Like, it's looking like some... You know what I'm saying? Choo-choo! Tune did it first, my heart. Alright, lady, I just wanted to show you. Hmm. So they was going live together. They was doing all sorts. She's also been brought out at. Um, I mean, he, she's also brought him out at. I don't know where this was. Wireless Festival. I can't play the music for copyright reasons, but I'll just quickly play the video so you can just have a look. But yeah, if you're Madeline and you're seeing this after all of that, you're going to be vexed, innit? But what do you expect, man? He's a famous superstar, like. She's a famous superstar. They both make drill music, like. They're going to have to They're gonna have to be doing this sort of stuff together, man. I don't know if you can really be upset at him for that, to be honest. All the other stuff I get, but I don't know, man. I don't know, but let's just say, if it is real, I do feel sorry for Madeline. I hope they get back together. I hope they, they, they will work their stuff out, because at the end of the day, like, 
Sench clearly does like this girl and he's just, he's a rapper. He's got to do marketing. He's got to do certain things. He's going to have to say certain things in songs. This is what gets you the views. This is what gets people talking about you. This is what's got me sitting here talking about you right now. So you got to understand that side of things. But if it is real, I definitely do feel sorry for her. If it is fake, shout out to Madeline again because you're holding down your boyfriend doing the marketing for him and it's got everyone talking about it. So kind of got to respect it to be completely honest. But yeah, man, we're going to leave the video there. Just wanted to quickly break that down. We're, we're yet to see a response from Central C. We're yet to see a response from iSpice. But you know, as soon as they do, I'm going to be making the next video about it. So, everyone, thank you very much for your time. I've been Honcho, Honcho's house, and we out. Grrr.